News Chris Wallace scored a rare sit-down with President Donald Trump over the weekend, and it's fair to say that POTUS didn't exactly sail through it. Trevor Noah examined that interview on Monday's edition of the Daily Social Distancing Show, calling Wallace the only reporter at Fox News who isn't trying to become the next press secretary, he said. You can tell that he wasn't because this was no softball interview. In fact, it was pretty much a masterclass in how not to let Trump get away with his usual bullshit. Noah went on to show a few clips to back up his point, including one where POTUS tried, again, to claim that the United States has one of the lowest mortality rates from coronavirus. The veteran newsman politely but sternly interrupted with, that's not true, sir. Trump tried to retort, but after Wallace continued to fact-check him, the president instead rolled his eyes and called for backup from his press secretary, who was lurking off-camera. Some paper rattling ensued, and Trump declared himself vindicated. But after Wallace put on the screen his network stats and those provided to the president by Kayleigh McEnany, it became clear that POTUS side had supplied the fake news this time, see? Noah then chimed in. Chris Wallace did two things right there that Trump absolutely hates, he proved him wrong and he made him do homework. It recalled the Looney Tunes bit when Bugs Bunny asked Pete Puma how many lumps he wanted. Watch that and the rest of Noah's clip above. On a decidedly more serious note, the Comedy Central late night host also paid tribute to John Lewis, the civil rights icon and conscience of the Congress who died Friday. Watch that clip below, let's block ads. Why? Show your love for him. Click the link in description. Thanks for watching.